Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we made it to Malari's Mine and today we are going to meet with Master Malari himself to see if he can't fix the Pecora Sword. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ting tong ting tong. Do go wrong for iron. No, sorry, I shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't do that. Alright, anyway, uh, they don't really say much. So let's get past them. There are a bunch of people we can talk to here, like uh, this guy. But they pretty much all just say the same thing. That uh, Malari is down on the lowest level. Anyway, sorry if you like hear some yelling in the other room right now. Um, I have a little uh, cousin and nephew over, and they're just, they're loud. They're very loud, and they're in the other room, but uh, hopefully they won't be loud for like the next 15-20 minutes or so. And here's Master Malaria, an imposing fi figure, even for a Minish. Ah, so you've already heard of us. Music does travel faster than we do. Hey, I thought I was Master Smith. Um, that, that would be nice, actually. Sorry, skip that. It just says, show me the blade. And he, he called it the Picoria Blade, even though the Minish, with the Picoria themselves call themselves Minish, so it should be the Minish Blade to them, but uh, oh well. So, um, this had me confused at first, because like, wait, I thought you need the four elements to reforge it, but no. Uh, you just need to have this guy reforge it, but the four elements need to be infused into it later on. And uh, that will break the curse, and you'll see how once we get to that point way, way later. Yeah, that thing's pretty busted. Oh, really? Alright, let's do it. Yeah, this reminds me of um, A Link to the Past when you give your sword to those little uh, smith guys to improve in there, like jumping up and doing it like that. I think it's supposed to like be reminiscent of that. Anyway, we couldn't go over here before, but now if we talk to him... And before he said, no one's allowed past this point. Alright. So just as quickly as we are here, we have to leave. But, uh, luckily, we're going to some place very interesting, but first you want to, of course, unlock this baby. Still don't know what that's for, but, um, won't be too much longer before we find out. Alright, yes, yes, we've heard it before. Anyway, we are now at our second dungeon, the Cave of Flames. All right, all right. Now we will. All right, we refilled our heart. That's good. I'm guessing, yeah, they all have hearts in them. Anyway. Oh, and here we have a new enemy, the bombs, just like in the Mario series, except you hit these ones, and they'll bounce around. So you want to kind of be far away from them, but I got hurt by that one. Oh, see? Uh, nah, no, get away. Okay. So yeah, that's all there is to them. Too bad. If you can get one to blow up right here, then uh, it'll blow that thing open. But that didn't happen, so we're just going to have to do it with one of our own bombs. Now we have uh, two spiked beetles, which I just uh, got hurt by. Hit them with your shield, they flip over. Yes, yes, I already figured this out. Sorry, sometimes when I'm looking at my nose, I was trying to look at my nose to see what these things are called, and I ended up getting hit, not paying attention. Ooh, big chest, what do we get? Get the compass, alright. Alright, so... Over here. 
Okay, if you see rupees just lying out in the open like this, be very, very careful. Don't walk up to them to collect them. Swipe them with your sword. And that's why. One of them is a fake. That is called a rupee like like. And uh, if it catches you, it won't hurt you. I don't think so, but it will suck up your rupees. And you do not want that. And uh, there are other like likes that will do much worse than that. Okay, you got a refill of our heart. Awesome. And uh, let's head down these stairs. Kill this guy, dang it. Oh, there you go. Some more bombs over here. Kill another one. Let's wait for him to get over here. Come on, buddy. Get him. Alright, he can't go in here, I don't think. Sweet. Alright, so what do we have here? We have uh, minecart tracks. Oh, and a red choo choo. Let's kill him. I like killing all the enemies. It's fun. And let's see. Do we head over here? Oh, let's uh, get rid of this guy. I see. Oh, you just wait till you see how scared Link is. I, it's so hilarious, his uh, reaction to riding on the minecart. You'll just have to see. Let's kill these guys first. Locked door to the left that we can't open, but yeah, just watch, watch Link. <laughs> that is the most terrifying thing he's ever gone through, it looks like. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. What were you just saying that we shouldn't be afraid? <laughs> now, you don't even have anything, Buster. Ow. Let's uh, see if we can get this guy to come closer. Aha. Can't get me. bombs again. Get the feeling we're gonna need a lot of bombs in here since we keep getting more and more. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Alright. Blow up this wall over here. And I think we wanna whip out one of these or was it? Yep, yeah, because there's more helmosaurs. And I uh, you want to kill all of these ones, trust me. Ow. Too bad you can't, like, actually turn around when you're sucking. But... Oh well. And you kill them because we get a little portal here that will turn us minish size. Anything else in here? Nope. So let's do this. Have him sing his little song and jump down. There we are. So now we can head through these little tiny holes that you may have noticed earlier. We want to avoid these guys. Can't do anything about them with this in this size. Let's see. I don't want to go in here because that hole is blocking the way. So let's head over to the right. Right over here. Pretty much the only path we can take. And there's that piece of heart that we can't get because we're too small. Darn it. And down here, I believe. And... Um... And this room is foggy. So I'm just looking. Alright, so there should be... There we go. Just a little tiny thing. 
Oh, avoid these, of course. Shouldn't have to tell you that. Yeah, these little containers, all you have to do, sword swipe, and they're gone. You can also use your, uh... Gush jar. That works well as well. Yeah, shut up. We don't want to shrink down again just yet. Alright, so... Oh yeah, we almost forgot about this guy. We get a dungeon map. Yes, yes, we already know. Kill Mr. Rich, aren't you here? And... Want to be careful on these things. You want to go... Fast. There's also a blue kinstone piece. Yeah, they break up, then they reform again, so that's good. <laughs> you think? Hmm, I wonder what element we're gonna get from this fiery hot dungeon. Alright, let's step on that, we'll on that. Now here you want to use your gush jar. Because if you try to take the time to pick up a pot, you'll fall through the block most likely. That. Get through here. Ow. Get us also hard again. And oh boy. So yeah, this part's fun. So yeah, while you're standing on it, it's breaking up, so you wanna get off as soon as possible. Oh um, what enemies are these? Wallow bites. Once you hit them, they can do that, and you can pick them up and throw them. So, let's throw over here so we can plug up that hole. And we get 50 rupees from that jar, so you want to, uh... Let's get rid of these first, get them out of the way. I don't think you can actually, like, kill these guys unless you throw them into the lava. But uh, you don't want to do that with all of them, because you need some of them to... I got bulls. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. There we go. Is it weird to you guys that I don't swear that I say things like gosh dang it and darn whatever? I don't know. Anyway, we can't seem to get to this this chest here. So what do we do? Ta-da! Gotta make our way around the lava. Make it? Yes. And... Hmm. It seems like the chest is up on a really high pillar. We can't seem to get to it. What do we do? Well, first you want to step on this. And we can push this up, get it out of the way. And you can actually push this over here. And I can, uh... You probably guess what's going to happen next. It falls into there and we can reach the chest now. We get a small key. Hooray. So, without further ado, let's head on up. And we're back in this place, so we have a key now, so we can put that to use. Get some more stuff. Get back in this horrifying minecart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I never get tired of that. And we can uh, open this. Aha! Hit this switch, and now the track is switched up. So let's get back in the terrifying minecart ride. And oh, we go up here now. And, oh, there's that piece of heart, and there it goes. How do we get to that? Hmm. No way. Kill these spike beetles. Dang it. Up the only way we can really go. Alright, wait for those guys. Hey, this minecart's upside down. What are we supposed to do? Huh. Can't seem to do anything about it. So, uh... Let's see, what are these things called? I think they're just called spike traps. There's spikes. I don't know if they have an official name. I think... Yeah, they should, because there's a... 
Well, all you'll just have to see. I'll show you. Anyway. What do we have here? Oh, I don't even need to do that. Let's get our bombs out. Blow this sucker up. And now we can finally get to this piece of art. Aha! Should we get... Yes, we got another life container. Sweet! I think coming up pretty soon is, uh, something bad. Yep. Sort of a mini boss, not really. Yeah, eight of these guys. So, yeah, these, uh,. When they're spiked, they're pretty much invincible. So just uh, just keep swiping your sword. I think that's the best way to do it, because you can't stay spiked forever. And they can't be all spiky when they jump. And right after they get out of their spike mode, they transform back. Anyway, we get another big chest. What's in here? Uh, the cane of Pachi. This rod has the power to flip things over? Huh? Alright. So, this is an interesting item. There's... Uh, if you remember, like, in uh, Link to the Past and also in one of the, uh... Oracle games, there is a cane like this, but it's called the Cane of Somali or Somali or something like that, and... That creates blocks, but this is different. This will flip things over. So, if you use it on a pot, it flips it over and it breaks. And, uh, we see the spikes right there. Flip it over. Oh, don't stand there too long. And also... Will do, I was about to explain that. Flip in there, and you see that little ball of energy spinning around in there? Go in, and it flips you out. And we get a blue portal that'll lead us back to the entrance if we need it. Hooray! And this upside down minecart? We can flip that over. But where will this lead? Where's the fire element? And will Milari have our sword done once we are finished this with area? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Thank you for watching and have a good day.